Hey guys, it's Quiddy Quits here, and today I'll be showing you how to assemble, clean, and disassemble a G clock. So basically, this is my backup G clock. I've had it for a while, but I haven't really been using it too much, and it's getting kind of worse. Like, it's actually worse than my main now for some reason, even though I've used my main more. So, the G clocks do start running out after a while. Uh, you can feel that, the, like, the factory loop we put in there is just going away, and it's getting really slow. Like, it's not as fast. It's still fast, but it locks up a lot more. Like there. So it does lock up a lot more, and I do want to try and clean it and maybe tension it or whatever to see what I can do to make it a bit better. So what you guys might have noticed about the Qi clock is that it actually has screws on the outside of the case, unlike the Ling or something, which actually, we have to actually cut open the sides, which is really annoying. That took me a, lot, a long time having to magnetize and everything, but you can actually just unscrew it from the case now, which is a lot better in the new clocks, so I really like how I've done that. So you might have a screwdriver from like one of your Moe cubes or whatever, this one, the small ones that comes with it. Otherwise, you can just use any other screwdriver. Then, what I actually noticed is that the screws don't actually come out. They're like loosened, but there's something on top of them where they just don't fully come out. Maybe they do. Some of them aren't coming out, which is really weird, but I guess it's something that's stopping them a bit, but I think you can make them come out, but if you do it right, it should just undo, which I'm kind of scared of doing. I've never done this before. I just know what to do from Lego clocks. I think the screw is not fully undone. And then it should hopefully come out. Okay, so these things on the other side should come out. So there are these little bits on the other side, which I'm pretty scared about. Um, I don't know this is part of it. You can't really see it too well, but there's like... Yeah, these bits on the clock are really small. And I feel like they're part of the screws, but it's kind of terrifying. Okay, so you want to make sure you don't lose any of those screws or anything, so I'm going to keep mine on on the plastic case and just put it away. Make sure the other ones don't fall out if you have any in there like I do. And then let's leave all the screws in here as well and just put those off to the side. You should be able to do that. <laughs> and just completely undo it. Now I haven't actually checked the internals this yet because once I got it I was too scared to undo it because I didn't want to ruin it or anything. But now I have a main I can use and see if this actually does stuff off of it. But we should be able to just push all these pieces out. So you want to disassemble everything. Take all the pins out. Take all the uh, clocks out and everything like that. So it's got a blank case. And if you're going to clean it, you want to clean all this stuff. That's the most important. So basically, I'll wipe down all those pieces and then I'll come back because I'll do a time lapse or something, I guess. I guess what I've noticed is that the pieces are actually really clean already. So maybe cleaning it doesn't help too much, but there's nothing on here. I've already wiped down three pieces. This just seems like a clean piece of paper, so I'm not sure I'm going to keep cleaning them, I guess, because there might be just some, like, invisible lube or whatever, you know, like, it's lube that's, like, clay, you can't really see. Um, so, apparently it helps, so I'm going to try and see how it goes, but this seems very useless right now, just spending all this time cleaning out something that looks like it's not even there, but I'll see how it goes anyway, it should hopefully change what it's like afterwards. Okay, so it seemed like there wasn't really any factory lube in there, it was actually quite dry, so I might try a lube later on to see how that goes, but otherwise I might, I'll leave it how it is for now and just try and change the tensions, but it might have helped somewhat if there actually was some lube in there, I just can't really see, but we're also going to wipe down these two uh, coloured parts in the middle, so basically you just want to like wipe down all the inner parts in here, that's where everything's touchy, you can actually kind of see some marks on there. I don't know if you can, you can kind of see some of where it's like me rubbing against it, so you do want to wipe that down because there actually probably will be stuff on here. Considering every single song you've done, there's been a lot of just gears going across this part. So I can't really see much, but I'm assuming there would be a lot of stuff on here. But sure, apparently isn't, but do this on both of the sides and then it should be good, but. I'm actually quite confused at how the clock seems so clean, but... Okay, so I won't be lubing it in this tutorial, but if you did want to lube it, you would want to grab, like, a paper towel or something, kind of scrunch up like this, and just push it down. So you kind of have, like, like a raised part of it here, where it's kind of flat. Put some lube on there, and then just kind of, like, dab it like this. And you don't want too much on it, but if you're going to lube it, just get some lube on the tissue and just dab it like this, and then kind of get it spread around evenly on both sides of these. But you don't want too much. You kind of have it like a kind of a little bit of a glow when you like look at it at an angle. 
Um, because if you put too much on, it can either be too slow or too fast, which you don't want. Um, if you're using like weight five or something, you can definitely get too slow. I've done the mistake before where I put it on here and on individually each piece, which kind of ruined it. So I had to clean it out again. And having to get it right is really hard sometimes. So you have to like clean it out and like a lot of times in a row, it's just not good. So uh, if you're looping it, be careful, maybe ask. You can ask in the comments if you have any questions about that, but otherwise it should be fine. Okay, so now I'm gonna reassemble it. Um, basically you're gonna try and like put one of these flat down. Remember which way is up, so uh, the 12 o'clock is up there on the side, so this way is up for me. This way is up. So I'm gonna get every single one of these pieces. So yeah, there should be four of these, like the bigger ones. So you have the like big ones for the corners and then these smaller ones for like the ends. So since this is the white piece, I guess you guys should start with the white pieces as well just so you kind of have the same colour scheme as I, am, I do right now. Uh, you want to put the same colour on top, because when you look at it from the other side it will be black. And that's how it works on the normal clock. So normal clock, you have uh, the white the white body, and then you have the black centres and then the black pins. So it's going to be the same one here obviously, unless you don't want to change it, which would be kind of difficult to like <laughs> be able to use, but if you want to do that you can. So basically you want to grab all the corners, put the same colour as the body on top, and then have all the um, arrows pointing straight to 12 o'clock. And make sure you do have it set to 12 o'clock that way or whatever. Then you want to grab all these ones, so all the black ones, so two different kinds of black and white ones. If you're, if you're using the white body, do the black pieces and put those in the bottom. And this one's kind of hard to tell if it's going to be 12 o'clock on the bottom. So there should be this little thing on top here, like kind of an indicator of where the actual um, arrow is. So you kind of want to use that. So you have the arrow one side, the other side will have the like indicator like right in between each each gear. So you should be able to use that. So if you line those up, it should be fine. And what I hate about this part is that it's very, very fiddly. Uh, you tend to just move pieces around, so make sure you're not moving anything around. And if you do move something around accidentally, you want to change it back. Okay, so now would be a good time to check if you've actually done everything right. So you kind of want to like lift it up. I can't really do it on camera because that would make everything fall out. But basically just lift it up, make it still flat, and just put it above your head so you can like lift directly up at it. And these are all fine. So these are all facing at 12 o'clock. And the magnets help a lot, the magnets in the gears, because they actually put it right into the right position. Okay guys, so one mistake I actually did make is that these, uh, these corner pieces, only two of them have magnets around the outside on one colour. So you want to put those diagonals. So I'm going to check mine on the top left. And I did this wrong, so I might have actually ruined everything at the start if I didn't notice this. Uh, at the top left and the top bottom, let's do that for now. Then you want to chuck the pins in. So, I uh, remember you want the opposite colour on the other side. So since uh, the base is white, we're going to chuck a black pin in. So it's going to be black on the white side. So white on top for the pin. And it's at, the, it's at this point where you kind of just want to hold it like this. So you don't ruin everything. Because <laughs> the pins are going to stick out, so it won't be flat on the bottom. You just want to keep double checking that you actually aren't doing any moves accidentally because this part does sometimes do moves. So after you put all the pins in, just double check that you haven't done any moves, which I've just kind of done here. So usually on another clock you put springs in, but there are no springs in this, so... Because it doesn't really need them if you have all the magnets, so... You're going to chuck the white pieces on top like this. And this part is quite tricky, so you do need to put this part back on. Make sure that it's also facing at 12 o'clock, otherwise it won't work, obviously, once you do it. And this... Ah, uh, I hate this. Honestly, it's easier with springs, because now you need to, like, kind of get these in the right spot. And the springs make them just stay in the, like, same spot, kind of. These just want to move around a lot, and it's not good. I'm going to try and wiggle the things in where the pins are. And that should work, hopefully. Okay. Okay, getting somewhere. This one does not want to go in the right spot, does it? Did we get it? We got it, okay. So that is very complicated to do. Then you just want to like, make sure you don't, don't do any moves or anything, so... I think this... It actually seems magnetic on the case. Because this kind of sticks together once you get it alright. So I'm not, I'm not, like, I'm not putting any pressure on or anything, it's just... Staying together, which is good. Uh, I'm going to grab the case that has all the screws in it, because that's probably easier. So the ones that have all the long screws like this, the ones that look like do a lot of damage, uh, that goes on the white side. So, or it came on the white side. I'm pretty sure you can do it on either side, but I will do it back to the white side, just make it easier. So, kind of push them all back in with your hands, I guess. 
and then try and put the other side on. That should reattach fairly well. So you kind of sort of screw until it feels tight. Oh, uh, this, this is where the tension comes in, so I'm going to do them all tight and I'll just slowly do them and see how it feels. But this is a lot, this is way easier to tension than the other ones because you'd have to go internally to actually um, tension them. So I went inside just to clean it and you guys can probably lube it if you want to. I might, I might eventually do that if this isn't really working too well, but... Uh, yeah, so you can actually tension it from the outside, which is a lot better. So the one we have done is up here. We've done the screw, and it feels tight when we fully do it. And the, the piece is on the other side. That's going to stay there because we already screwed it. And then this piece here. We've got one on the other side, so if they're not staying, you just want to hold it on the back, and then you should be able to screw it in. Okay, so now that's done. I'm going to test it. Might need some tensioning. Ooh. That is not good. Let's try that, actually. I'm going to try and um, undo the screws a little bit. So, it's quite hard to see them, but I'll try to do a full turn on each one. Okay, I did one turn on each of them. That's a lot faster, whoa. Okay, I did not think it made that much of a difference, but apparently it did. It seemed to make quite a difference, so... Still feels a little tight, in a way. I don't know. It actually feels quite loose in some places, but I might try another half turn on each of them and see how that goes. I feel like I might be pushing it. Like, it feels loose. It's just quite clicky, which I don't like as much. So that might be where I need, I need to lube it or something. That could be the problem, but no one's really found many good ways to lube it, if I remember. So I will try and do a half turn on each of the sides and see how that goes. Okay, I've done half turns. Let's see how this goes. That seems quite a bit fast. But, it feels dry, but it feels really fast, which I kind of like. I'll say it's not bad, but it does feel very dry. So the speed is fine, it goes way too fast, maybe, <laughs> some people. But, generally I think it worked, so you guys can tension it however you want, I kind of went over that as well, so I guess that helps as well, but I might have to lube this later on. I'm not sure whether to use like a fast lube like DNM or a heavy lube like Traxxas or something like that, so... I hope this was helpful. If you guys did find it helpful, you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe as I'm very close to 900 subscribers. And I'll see you guys in the next video.